me again, and welcome to La Canzona Cucina, or my show, which I really like. It's also called My Singing Kitchen, and you can find me on My Singing Kitchen, which is on my website, or under La, Co La, Con La Canzona Cucina on YouTube. But I'm there, and you'll have a good time. Today we're going to make iruka rab, broccoli mm. rab, or rapini, as they call it. <laughs> Alright, this is it, this is what it looks like. I like to cut the ends off, the stems off, because even when you cook them a long time, they stay a little bit tough. I'd rather not eat the toughness. Then I'm going to cut this again, like here, put off the top leaf, like this, and cut off a little more of the like this. I got the bottom ones, and just put them in here like this. This is a really simple dish. You put the broccoli in there like that, which makes it a really nice thing. You put the other broccoli in there again like that. We put more broccoli in here like this, and then I'm going to wash it. Oh, okay. Washing the broccoli, Rob. And this is not too bad. This doesn't hold dirt like scallop and some of the other things. Spinach holds dirt and sand like forever. But this is pretty nice. We can wash this out really, really nicely. Hi, I met you once before. Oh, which way am I supposed to be turning? This way. <laughs> that way's fine. But anyway, it works out really well. And you like this. This is good. And this, the best, this, I like this best this way. I don't parboil it. I don't do it first. What I do is I wash it nice and clean like it is. I get my frying pan out, and I'll be back to start it in two seconds. Let me get my frying pan. It's right over your head. Ooh. I don't know if I can reach this high. Uh, I guess I can. Hey. I got it. All right. And since, like I said, we're doing like more than one dish at a time, I've got the risotto cooking. This is from the episode from before, and I'm going to make the uh, rucola rab now, and we'll be all set. So this is pretty good. Yeah. Olive oil! How much are we going to add to the pan? Take a quick guess. Third of a cup. Good move. Hey. Right on the money. One, two, three, three. It's about third of a cup. Good. I'm going to put some uh, garlic into this now and get it nice and golden brown. Then all we're going to do is add the broccoli rob, get some salt, a little black pepper, some hot pepper, and we're done. Oh, nice quick recipe. Stuff that's good for you, too. Mm hmm. How many cloves of garlic? I'm using two. Two. With this. It's, no, I'm using one. Just one. No, I'm using two. No, not one. One. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, same thing. Crush it like that. Skin comes right off. Cut off the end like that. Dice it up. That's ready. No. Yeah, it's starting to fizzle and right away. Goes the garlic. And we'll get the garlic nice and brown, golden brown, and then we'll add the broccoli to it. Just like we do. I don't like to leave it white because it's white, it doesn't have the same flavor. When you cook it, when it becomes that nice golden brown color when you cook it, it just adds a different flavor to everything. And I like that different flavor. So, let's watch and see what happens. You want to add this to it, it's going to sprout it. The nice part about it sprouting is that the leaves kind of hold the stuff and squish it up and burn in your face. Put that on the heat. And we're looking in the middle. We got our other spoon, we just turn this over a little bit. <laughs> we use some white wine to degrade the pan. About that much. <laughs> white wine's handy to have in the kitchen, huh? Yeah, white wine, red wine is really good for cooking, especially when you're doing greens. Because it has nice flavor to this. I have to go into my freezer and pick up a couple of those uh, vegetable stock cubes that I have. There are vegetable stock cubes right there. Okay. Very nice. The salt. Okay, a little black pepper. Let this cook up. Yeah, I should have added some red pepper before, but I'll add it now. Uh, Let's give it a spicy taste to it. And this will be done in two or three minutes. Okay. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And then Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. Mm -hmm. Then the bucktails ring, making spirits bright. I wish I knew the really words, but singing this tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh, dashing through the snow. 
house up and stay All the fields we go Laughing all the way Pop, 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 bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright Oh, what fun it is to sing a playing song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse of big sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to in a one horse of big sleigh I'm done. And I'm going to put it in a plate like this. Oh. You don't want any of this. <laughs> yes, you do. No, oh, this is really, really good. This is excellent. Anyway, this is a Rukla Rab. It was cooked by me in my kitchen on La Canzona Cucina. And I think you'll love this. This is the way I don't like to, uh, I said I don't like to parboil it. I just like to saute it in the pan. And it comes out perfectly. Mm. So, good health, good luck.